Hey guys and welcome back to another video. Today I'll be showing you how to update your rooted Nexus 6P. Uh, well that's on the May update, or any update really, all the way to the latest MTC 19V June update. So this is how we're going to do it. You can see we're rooted right now. If we open up FlashFire, an example of a root application, you can see it works fine. And we can also see that SuperSU is installed and that seems to be working fine as well. We also need to verify that we are on the MTC19T. As you can see down there in the build number, hopefully it's clear. I'm not sure if the camera quality is too shonky or not, but we'll get started straight away. So you're going to have to head over to your computer here and we're going to have to download a couple of things. First off, we're going to download Android Tools, the zip file, which pretty much just includes your Fastboot, ADB, EXE, Fastboot, EXE, and your two DLLs. No biggie there. Next thing we also want to download is the factory image for our Nexus 6P. So the way we're going to do this, we're going to head over here, check the terms and conditions that you've agreed to it. Now you can click Angler for Nexus 6P on the side here, and just download the latest one, which is the MTC 19V. I'm going to click on this, this download link, and we're going to save it all to one folder. If I can just bring it up. Um, it, I recommend that we make a new folder called Android or something that you can find and similarly name. And we're going to save everything we find or that we're going to download into that folder so everything's nice and neat. So we're going to save our Nexus our factory image there and also download the Android tools folder. I mean zip file in there as well. Now I've already, already got these files. I'm not going to download one gigabyte again. So we can close this Chrome window. And what you want to see in your Android folder is the Android tool zip. And of course your factory image, which is the MTC 19 V. Now also mind you, you'll need your fastboot drivers already configured, which I do think you already have. Otherwise you wouldn't have, un you wouldn't have unlocked the bootloader to be honest. So once we got this done, we have our Android Tools folder and our factory image folder. All we need to do is right click on our factory image folder and we're going to hit extract to Angular MTC blah blah blah. We're just going to extract everything inside. But for those who don't use WinRAR, you might use 7-zip or something like that. All you have to do, or you can do this, open up the archive and just drag out this folder and extract that. So we'll give it you know, another two seconds and it should be done. Now once that's done, we can close this window and we need to open up our Android Tools zip. We're just going to leave that on the side for now. We're going to open up our Angular MTC 19V folder. We're going to see these files. We're not going to extract everything and do it like that. We're going to do a selective flash, I guess. So extract all these files to that directory there. So it kind of looks pretty messed up right now. We have our adb.exe, two DLLs, bootloader image, fastboot.exe, our batch scripts, our scripts here to flash, our base image or our image zip, and of course our radio. Now we're going to right click and edit this. I'm going to use Notepad as my preferred editor. And you'll see here that we can, these are, these are the steps it's going to take pretty much. Now we don't want to wipe data, so we can get rid of this dash W and hit save. We're going to open up this zip folder and we're going to delete the recovery image because we don't want that. We want to keep our, we want to keep, um, what do you call it, our TWRP already there. And we also want to make sure that we have the latest version of SuperSU on our phones already. Now if I just go back on my phone and quickly well, plug it in again. And mount the the MTP thingamabob. You can see I already have the Super SU beta or the beta Super SU 2.74-2 already on there. If you don't have this already there, you want to copy it back to your phone or just download it. I'll have a link down below in the more info as well under the name Super SU. So once you have the Super SU zip on your internal storage and of course uh, the exposed framework, if you have exposed, if you don't know what that is, you probably don't have it. Um, so if you don't have that, that's fine, you don't need to flash that. But if you do, you'll need to flash that for your modules to work again. So once you have the files on your phone, that's alright, we can close that. And we've deleted the 
the recovery image from our zip. Hopefully it still flashes, I haven't tried this. So now we're going to go over to our phone here, do some magic film editing thanks to OBS. We're going to power off our device. The camera is going to be a little bit dodgy here, so I'm just using a phone as a webcam. So you can unplug it so it doesn't turn, whoops, so it doesn't turn on again like that. If it does turn on again, just hold all the buttons down or the power and volume down buttons until it turns off. Let go briefly and press those same buttons again. And that'll get us into the bootloader. Let me move the camera back over. Once you're in, you can plug in your device again, just like that. And you can hear the beeps on the computer. So all you need to do now is run the, the flash or dot bat. Just double click on it and you can see it flashing the bootloader. And you can't see my phone. Oh, where is it? Let me just quickly adjust what's, um, what do you call it? Here we go. You can actually see what's happening. All right, so you can see it's sending the system images now. I guess I can move this back a little bit. It's going to write the system. It's going to do all that. It will take about a minute in total. So now it's going to flash the vendor image here, which contains all our uh, libraries that we need to run certain applications and things like that. So it's going to restart and we don't want that. So what we're going to do is hold down the buttons again. I know that this method is um, a little bit more fidgety, but it still works nevertheless. And we want to do the same thing, hold power and volume down once the screen turns black. So we're back in the bootloader. So if we just have a quick look here, we can see that the recovery wasn't flashed because it was deleted from the archive. So all we need to do now is essentially head back to our phone. We're going to use the volume buttons here to go into recovery mode while pressing the power button to select it. Now you can unplug this while well, I'm going to, so it's easier. Get that stupid light out of the way. Oh. So we just need to wait for it to get into TWRP, which it has. Now this is a message that says, do you want to keep, well it doesn't like that. Well it's going to ask you if you want to keep the system partition as read only. Um, if you're using systemless root, I guess you'll need this. But we're going to swipe to allow modifications as we don't need things like that. Uh, what you want to select here now is to install the SuperSU zip. So we're going to hit the install button and scroll down until we can see the beta SuperSU at the bottom there. Just tap on that and we're going to swipe to confirm flash. Now this will install itself to the system directory and possibly other directories and we'll also patch the boot image for us, the new one that we just flashed, so it will work properly. Now this happens very quickly and it will be done in just a few moments and after this we're just going to hit reboot and before we do I'd like to mention that if you need expose this is where you want to flash it after the super SU, or well before it doesn't really matter. And once you've done that, you can set your phone down again and wait for it to turn on. Now this is, this is probably about it. It shouldn't take too long turning on, so I guess I can just keep talking like this. Uh, so this is kind of a different format of recording rather than pointing a camera to the screen. Hopefully it works out better. I'll do, I will be using a different camera for this part. This is just an, I'm using an old phone as an IP camera currently and it's uh, doing an okay job but I'd prefer it, uh, an actual webcam or something like that and also this environment isn't too good for recording things they got eight lights eight rows four two rows of four lights per row and it has this orangey glow to it and it makes your eyes really tired so hopefully this is going alright you can see it turning on finishing boot well, you can't really see that because of the exposure. But anyway, we're back up here. As you can see, 
We're going to swipe up. We're going to see if flash fire still works. You can see it does. You can also check out Super SU. I know it's at the top, but there we go. We can see that working. And lastly, we can go over to our settings and see that we're on the MTC 19V with the 1st of June uh, update. I hope you can see that, otherwise I'll move it up closer. Get that light out of the way. Yep. So there we go guys, thanks for watching, and this is how you update your rooted Nexus to the latest June update, security update here. And if you want to check out a flash file alternative, I do have a video on that. That should be uploaded or uploading. And thanks for watching guys, and I'll talk to you in the next one.